This is the Lightstream page. This is the Streamlabs page. They are exactly the same word for word. I am not joking. You know, I almost don't want to even give this young Turk, uh, George Soros funded um, creature any attention, but she wants it, she needs to get it. Her name is Rayvon. Uh... Um, but yeah, let's talk about Streamlabs. Because there, I did. There is a reason I didn't just decide to switch. There is a, a reason why I'm no longer using um, Streamlabs, <laughs> and this is it. And I do like the interface. I really enjoyed it. I still have my merch on their store, just because I'm not gonna lie. They have the best merch store. I don't pay them anymore to use it, but I'm not. It's gonna take me forever to switch that shit up so light lightstream is a new streaming studio i believe i think they stream from browser so you don't have to use um like you don't have to download anything which is interesting and they do like a console uh streaming thing as well they're like that's what their focus on is like assisting with console streaming um, I hope they do TwitchCon in Vegas one of these days. I think they stream from there's TwitchCon is going to be in San Diego in October. I'll be there. Okay, but um, Lightstream posted this picture clown. Hey, can I copy your homework? That's the Lightstream symbol. Yeah, just look, just change it up a bit so it's not so obvious you copied clown. But the clown here, let me open this in a new tab so I can we can see it better. Now the clown here is, damn it, don't zoom in. <laughs> Streamlabs. So this on the left side is, this is the Lightstream page. This is the Streamlabs page. They are exactly the same word for word. I am not joking. Down to the goddamn testimonials. They are exactly the same except for changing the color and changing the name. Like, I'm not joking. Like, like right here, activate, set up your console, set your console to stream to light stream instead of directly to your channel. Activate, set your console to stream to stu Streamlab Studio instead of directly to your channel or to your channel, sorry. Personalize, personalize, stream, stream, cloud capture for console streams. They are word for word exactly the same. <laughs> Seems legit. Like everything is the same. The fucking, this part made me cackle. The testimonials are the same. Lightstream is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it so easy. Streamlab Studio is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it easy. Love this platform. Love the way they listen to their, love how they listen to their community. Love this platform. Love how they listen to their community. Oh, they changed it up a little bit. It's the perfect platform for console streaming. They did a little change. They did a little switch up there at the end. Yeah, so they posted this. And let me unzoom. So this person quote tweeted it and said, the team at Streamlabs should be ashamed, not satisfied enough to ride OBS projects hard work. That's OBS Live. Uh, OBS Studios, uh, now to copy ours down to the layout and every word on our marketing site and our UX in this project. So OBS quote tweeted it and said, near the launch of Streamlabs OBS slobs, Streamlabs reached out to us about using the OBS name. Now OBS is uh, open source. We kindly asked them not to. They did so anyway and followed up by filing a trademark. We've tried to sort this out in private and they have been uncooperative at ev every turn. We're often faced uh, with confusing use confused users and even companies who do not understand the difference between the two apps. I will admit I was one of them. I thought that they were just like two different versions of the same thing, but they're not. They're two distinctly different companies. Support volunteers are somewhat sometimes met with angry users demanding refunds. We've had interactions with several companies who did not realize our apps were separate. Legally, they have obeyed the terms of the GPL, but they have repeatedly disregarded the spirit of open source uh, and of giving back. Despite these actions by Streamlabs, the OBS project will continue to provide free, open software and tools for everybody. We will continue to support our users, the community, and our amazing developers for their hard work. Streamlabs replied, I know they did in this. Oh, no, they replied to the initial tweet. Streamlabs said, we made a mistake. 
Text on the landing page was placeholder text that was meant that went into production by error. This is our fault. We removed the text as soon as we found out. Our intended version is now live. Lightstream team is great, and we've reached out directly to them to apologize. Uh, Lightstream team, I hope that your response was suck my nuts. <laughs> 